everyone. I hope you're all well and I hope you had a nice weekend. So today we're going to continue on from Friday from when we started equivalent fractions. So equivalent fractions are fractions that have different numbers, but they have the same value. Now equivalent means equal and equal means the same. So we're going to look at some fractions that are the same. So we had some examples like these on Friday in our work. I'm going to do something similar today, but it might be a little bit more mixed up. So we must find out how many eighths are equal to three quarters. So what we want to find out was the equivalent fraction in eighths that is equal to three quarters. So I'm going to try and think of, okay, our little rules on Friday of how we found out what the equivalent fraction was and what would be an equivalent fraction. So here we're going to use multiplication, which is quite easy to remember. So the re what we remember from Friday is when we're multiplying, whatever we do to the top, we do to the bottom and vice versa. Okay, so we need to find out what is the numerator here. So we have been given our denominator, okay, which is going to help us. So if my denominator here is four and my denominator here is eight, I can get my denominator of eight by multiplying by two. Okay, because four multiplied by two gives me eight. And remember, whatever I do to the, to the bottom, I do to the top. So I'm also going to multiply my numerator up here by 2 to give me my numerator over here. So 3 multiplied by 2 gives me 6 eighths. So I multiply by 2, top and bottom. So 3 quarters is equal to 6 eighths. They are equivalent fractions. Okay? Now, next example. So how many, five six are equal to how many twelfths? Okay, so we need to find out how many twelfths are equal to five six. So again, I'm going to check to see what will help me here so I can figure out what the missing number is. So I'm going to use our multiplication again. So I've got six here as my denominator. I've got 12 here as my denominator. So we're going to multiply 6 by 2, which gives me 12. So 6 multiplied by 2 gives me 12. Okay. And remember, whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top as well. So I'm going to multiply the 5 by 2, which will give me my missing numerator. So 5 multiplied by 2 gives me... 10. So 5 6 are equal to 10 twelfths. They are equivalent fractions. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. Now the next one, right, it's going to be a bit mixed up. So this time we need to find out what the denominator is here. So we've been given the numerator, but we haven't been given the denominator. Right. So two fifths, okay? So we're gonna look at our numerators because we have both of our numerators and see what is the relationship between them. So in order to get from two to four, I'm gonna use my multiplication. So I'm going to multiply two by two. Because two multiplied by two gives me four. And remember, when I'm multiplying, whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom as well. So I'm gonna multiply my denominator here by two, and that gives me 10. So two fifths is equal to four tenths. They are equivalent fractions. So you have to make sure you're multiplying the same number top and bottom. Okay, so that's where we must find the denominator. Now here, it's kind of the other way around. 
So you have to find what is the beginning fraction and its denominator, okay? So we've been given our numerators, but we haven't been given this denominator. So instead of multiplication here, we can use the inverse of multiplication, if you can remember. So, to get from 12 to 4, because we need to find the denominator. How do I get from 12 to 4? Hmm, can I use multiplication? Or can I use something else? I think we can use the inverse multiplication, like I said. So we're going to use division. So we're like we're going backwards. What am I going to divide 12 by to give me 4? I'm going to think of my multiplication facts. And I know 4 multiplied by 3. Now the 4 multiplied by 3 gives me 12. So 12 divided by 3 gives me four. And now, same as multiplication, I'm going to do the same to the bottom as I do to the top. Okay? So I'm dividing by three here, and I'm also going to divide my new my denominator here by three as well. So the exact same thing from what you're dividing and multiplying with the same number when you're going backwards, okay? So 12 divided by three gives me four. 15 divided by three gives me five. So four fifths is equal to 12 fifteenths. They are equivalent fractions. So remember that when you're multiplying and dividing, you're dividing and multiplying by the same number. So we divide it by three, our numerator and denominator, we multiplied by 2 with our numerator and denominator. Okay, so you're going to have those types of questions today. Come back and watch the video if you need to, as many times as you want to, or as many times as you need to. Looking forward to seeing your work. Bye for now.